Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game, and we're doing today's bad endings, which there are four of. I am not looking forward to this at all. <laughs> uh, but I guess we better go through it and see what happens. So this is when I was like debating between the two. I'm like, uh, I don't want to ask Tay. I don't trust him. And I guess this did lead to a band, uh, a band, a bad end. So. I guess we'll go see what happens when we press this. I'm gonna ask Tay to go to Banjul with me after the harp had disappeared. Yes, I don't feel good about going alone. Only a thief would sneak into a closed cafe. <clears throat> I shook my head. I should just discuss it with Tay. I sat on the sofa and waited for Tay to come out. And a moment later, the bathroom door opened and Tay walked out. I waited for a second and headed towards him. Ah, uh, I feel fresh. <laughs> That's good. Hey, Tay. Oh, you still didn't go to bed? Tay looked a bit surprised. But he soon gave me a smile and asked me, what's up? Um, you said I shouldn't care about it, but it kept bothering me. The harp? Yeah, um, this. I found it while moving your jacket. This is the key for Ban Jewel, right? Sorry, I didn't rummage through on purpose. It just fell to the ground and I picked it up. Um, Tay, won't you go to Ban Jewel with me right now? We might find some clues if we search carefully when there aren't any customers. <sighs> Tay's face hardened subtly, subtly. After seeing his face, I rattled on about more reasons. Uh. Zion might be blamed for everything like this. That's not fair. I peered at his expression and saw that he had, he had his mouth closed tight. I knew he was going to be upset and thinking I was too into Zion. He stayed quiet for a moment and opened his mouth. What if... Hmm? What if I say no? T Tay... You would still say you want to go, right? Sorry. <laughs> Tay laughed as if he had no choice left. Fine. All right. Let's go. Huh? Really? Yeah, I'll go with you. Thank you. While I was feeling happy, Tay brushed off his damp hair. But before we go, I want to get some things from my room. The cafe won't be any different if we just go without anything. I want to prepare for sure before we go. I'll get things like flashlights and gloves. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, sure. I didn't have any specific plans, but Tay was very meticulous. I'm glad I talked with Tay. But this leads to a bad ending, right? I can always rely on him. Oh, can you give me back the key? Oh yeah, here. And wait. After Bean handed the key, Tay put it straight in his pocket. And he went into the kitchen as if he just remembered something. I waited for Tay in the living room. <laughs> Ah, just drug me instead, eh? He soon brought out a warm cup of tea. This is... My very own special blend. Drink this while you wait. I thought it'd be good to warm up before we go outside since it's cold. Oh, thanks. Tay is caring and kind as always. He cares for every tiny thing. If I go with him, I'll surely be able to find something. Then wait there. I'll be out soon. Okay. Oh, cutie. I sat on the living room sofa and sipped the tea. After drinking the warm cup, I felt my pounding heart calm down. Ah. <sighs> and I took the chance to organize my thoughts a bit. So the thief came in the cafe when there weren't any people. Huh? What's happening to me? Mm-hmm. My vision glue... Glue grew blurry and I couldn't think. My eyelids grew heavy and I felt like drowning. I slowly fell down and lied down on the sofa. I shouldn't sleep, but I'm so sleepy. Sorry, I didn't want to do this. But don't worry, I didn't put in anything harmful. You ruined it. I told you to leave this to me. Ignoring my advice and trying to do something that dangerous. Sleep for now. 
Leave everything to me, and don't worry. Everything will be solved when you wake up. Oh, and... This diary is important to you, right? Um... Everything, your memories from before you met me, must be recorded here. I didn't like it. From before. From before? What? How do you know about the power of the diary? Are you in cahoots with the first doll? How does he know to rip stuff out? Are you okay? Phew, you finally woke up. Tay, she's awake. You kept sleeping. Stop being lazy. Wake up, we have tons to do. It hasn't even been a month since she started working, but all she does is sleep. Don't be so mean to the only female worker here. Lady, it's fine to wake up late. Quitting the academy and having an illness you can't tell anyone about, you must have it tougher than others. Hey, she's not the street cat you picked up. Isn't she your friend? Yeah, so she came in here through personal connections. How is it? Are your memories coming back after working here for a month? What must it feel like to lose your memories? Well, I don't know how she feels, but as someone who watches over her, I can't keep my eyes off her for a second. So that's why you suggested she work here, right? Since you can be by her side the whole time. Yeah, I feel safe when my owner is here. Owner? It's nothing. Oh, customers. Welcome to Banjul. Hello, welcome to Banjul. I welcome you to Banjul. Miss? Oh my goodness. Hi, everyone! Wow. Wow. Game over. So he ripped out all my memories and then claimed I had amnesia and then got me a job at Banjul? Soinun, also Chamdrosso. Wow, so much for asking him for help. I'm glad I didn't the first time around. So he, he was putting some kind of drug in her tea the whole time, but a, like a mild dosage of it, and then he overdid it that time. But how did he know about the diaries holding memories, and that that would work for making her have am like amnesia? That's really weird. Uh, anyway, that was the first bad ending. <sighs> Yeesh.